Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Allison King and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the Emma Books tag and guys, guys, you know that I'm a crazy fangirl and that there are so many booktubers that I admire and I love and I follow like a mad woman and one of those happens to be Emma Books. She's amazing, she's so underrated, she's so funny and sweet and she can really pull off things that most people can't, like one of my questions is about black lipstick. If you don't subscribe to her, you haven't yet, you should totally check her out. She's honest. She kind of, okay, I'm not like a cool person like she is, so it's nice to see things from her perspective and her personality, and she likes to talk about a lot of books that I like but I don't see discussed, and she's slowly and slowly getting more more and more popularity, like, I've been rewatching some more videos to try and get some more ideas for questions because I feel sad, like I'm not a good fan because there's only like nine. And she really, she even got tagged by Jesse the Reader, she created the Rip It or Ship It tag that's been around everywhere, and she's beautiful, she's smart, she's nice, she's funny, and she's one of the few people on booktube that I feel is like actually honest with us, if that makes sense, like I feel like she doesn't she doesn't think about what she's gonna say before she says it, she kinda just tells us, but she, it's not like she's a loud mouth or whatever, but she tells us what she thinks and what she actually believes. So if you're not following her, you're not subscribed to her, go ahead, her Instagrams are amazing, I wish I could hula hoop like her. So let's get on with the questions. I'm gonna use my phone because I was lazy and didn't want to write it out. Okay, question one, hula hooping. Something a book character does that you're so impressed by and wish you could do. Okay, I was thinking through this, and there are so many things, so I'm just going to say two. And these are, like, really, like, characters that you would guess that I would pick, which is Triss and Katniss. Like, you, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I'm a big Diversion fan. Like, I read the book the day it came out. So, Triss and, like, her awesome... Fear landscape skills and how she throws knives and then Katniss and her air shooting skills. Okay, maybe I... Maybe I want to be violent, apparently? Who knows? But those two are, like, amazing. They're so cool and strong and I'm one of those people that, like, in the morning I feel like I'm going to die because I'm waking up and it's like, I will never sleep again! And then my head tells me Katniss lost her sister and she can still get up. What is your problem? Michael Booklion. Another person that I love to death. He actually follows me on Twitter and I had this mini fangirl attack. He's amazing. Um, he's hilarious. Like, if you, especially if you watch his Halloween video, it killed me. Mega book line. A character whose best friend you want or a character who you wish was your best friend. I wish that Kenji from Shatter Me was my best friend. He is so, so funny. He constantly is like, he's one of those people that almost doesn't have a filter on his mouth, which can get annoying, but he just constantly is there for a laugh in these intense situations. Like, they're fighting a battle and they're trying to figure out how to fight. Uh, the resistance. I'm trying not to spoil people, and yet he's still like, they're like, hey, they, I don't want to say what he says, because a lot of these are spoilers, dang it, but he just, he makes hilarious comments, he's so entertaining, he, he's one of the few reasons that I powered through some of the books that I was like, oh my god, Juliet, you need to stop, and character whose best friend I want, I kind of want Marley from this selection, even though I love America, Marley just seems so sweet and nice and kind, and I can't really think of any other best friends right now. A character who I feel like would be my best friend, at least in the first couple books, is Dee from the Lux series, but, um, which me and my friends are reading for the Heroines book club, but Dee kind of goes off the deep end for a little while, like, she's good and then she kind of loses it. <laughs> oh, I hate spoilers. Okay. Shadow Hunters. Okay, Emma, did you think this wouldn't be in there? Like, you literally are so obsessed with Shadow Hunters. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. And I have your go to book series or series you're obsessed with. Okay, this one I'm just gonna talk about again because no one reads this. It's The Rose Society and it's in the Young Elite series by Marie Lu. I have reread this since it came out like a month ago at least 11 times, and it's like a high fantasy book. Like, it's like 800 pages. I just cannot get over how beautiful and haunting and almost scary this book is. Marie Lu, 
like I've tried to get in the legend so many times and I never can but Adelina is just so like almost like she's a part of your mind that you understand but it's scary that you understand that she's so dark and she follows so easily into the darkness that you're kind of like okay um I'm not sure I'm not sure I even want to know that I think this way but she's so powerful and independent and strong and I can't spoil you because it's the Rose Society but even sometimes I don't agree with her reasoning because you know she's kind of a baddie but I just I love reading from her point of view and understanding her brain and just kind of figuring out what's going on in this story because once you're in this you're so immersed it's one of those that you have to read slowly 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 though but I mean I took the dust jacket off and I, this is like the twelfth reread I've done this book has killed me I had to say um Divergent again because this is probably gonna be mentioned a couple times. Recently, my love for it has returned because I read that book the day it came out and I remember crying in my room, like it's over, I don't know what to do. And like, it's one of those that you just pick up at Barnes and Noble. And then I remember falling in love with it, and just now I have posters in my room, I have headphones, I have divergent headphones, I have divergent pillowcases. Like, if I was a creepy person, I could get a four stand-up, and even though they're murdering the movies, like, it's kind of like, since I didn't grow up in the Harry Potter generation, it's kind of nice to me, because I am able to, like, grow up, and I'm kind of been a Christian girl, and I've never been allowed to read it. Like, it's kind of nice to be able to grow up with my own kind of Harry Potter. Yeah, it's more minuscule, and it's not as cool, but it's divergent, and to me, I wouldn't be the reader that I am today had it not been for Divergent. Why do I keep putting my phone away? I hate using my phone in videos. Okay. Four. Isabella. Isabel. Oh my god, I just said Isabella. Oh, that, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. A book character you, you're most like. This one is sad to admit, but not only in looks and personality are me and this person alike. America's singer from this selection. I have such, I'm just going to go out, come out and talk about this because Emma talked about like eating disorders and stuff in her binge book talk, but I have like critical anxiety, even though I've like tried to get away from it a million times, and so for me, I, I'm so indecisive that when I do anything or like make a decision, I automatically almost like freak myself out and almost have a panic attack like when we're at the zoo and because my brother is obsessed with animals they'll be like do you want soda or water and I'll be like you choose because literally I cannot deal in my head with the problems or like the repercussions of making that decision and a lot of people think that's like annoying but for me that's such a good book to read because I'm able to understand her so much more because I want to be this independent strong woman like Tris or like Mia from If I Stay, or like uh, Melody from The Host and all those people, but I just, I'm not that personality. I'm scared, I'm feeble, I'm shy, I don't like to talk to people. I mean, I meet people who I love like Morgan Kiwi and I just, I can't speak. I start like freaking out. So it's just, it's really hard for me to get into their brains. Plus, I have red hair. My hair is naturally kind of red, but this is like, colored red hair. So I feel like me and America are kind of in the same boat, although it kind of annoys me because then people are talking bad about America. Coffee. Okay, I'm pretty sure you created the coffee book tag, or at least you did it, because I was watching Bingity Bing's book, booktube shows, booktube shows? Who am I? Booktube videos a long time ago, and I remembered hearing you connected with this and like then watching your video and talking about how much you love coffee. But I may be wrong. I'm tired. It's Thanksgiving break. Don't hurt me. Coffee. Favorite thing to eat or drink while you read. Okay. I have talked about this on my channel before. But I am obsessed with chicken noodle soup. Like, I literally have a chicken noodle soup problem. Sorry, the fan just came on. But it literally, like, I eat it year round. I eat it no matter what I'm doing. If I'm on Tumblr and I'm on my computer, if I'm on Pinterest or Instagram. Any of those things, I'm literally eating soup. Like, I ate soup, I think, five times during Thanksgiving break. And I go to restaurants to get soup. So that, and I drink, like, root beer or hot chocolate when I'm reading, because usually 
I'm either reading really early in the morning or really late at night and I need to have energy in the morning because when you're reading till like 4 a.m. like it is now, you're kind of in a bubble when you have to wake up and it's like, oh yeah, school, English class, we're reading Antigone, great. <laughs> so basically my favorite thing to eat is chicken noodle soup and I would eat that with anything. Like literally the 20 calorie progressive soup is my baby. Okay, I am such a weird person and I'm sorry. Biannual Bibliothon. Favorite book you read with a group, friend or group? This one I wanted to say um, something cool and interesting, but I couldn't help but say the book that I'm reading with my friends now. My friend Ariana is such a sweet person. We wouldn't have found each other had it not been like booktube and books, and we really are both. I'm rereading the book opposite. I'm thinking the last book, Obsidian in the Lux series with her and like three other people. We're trying to get a bigger movement out but we're kind of small booktubers so I really like being able to reread and enjoy these characters that not a lot of people talk about or get to know with someone whose opinion I value so much and someone whose opinion is so interesting to me because even though she's like my best friend we're not like a, we don't agree on like everything like if you ask her about Divergent she's gonna be like oh my god it's terrible <laughs> Not like that, but I mean, like, she doesn't really like it. You know what I mean, Ariana. And yet, we still, like, discuss things and get along so well. And I, I really think I'll remember this years later. I'll reread the Lux series and be like, Oh my gosh, do you remember when we made that comment and we discussed this and we discussed the romance novels? Well, they're not romance novels, but they look like romance novels. We're very strange people. If you want to join that, I'll put the link to the Goodreads down below. I'll also link Emma Books' channel because you have to subscribe to her. Black lipstick. Something completely wa something that completely adds you when you work when you when it worked in a book to movie adaptation. Okay. This one is recent. Mocking J Part two. I did not see how the tigress thing is gonna work or even like how they made her face look and yet it like worked. There had to be I was thinking of something else when I read this, but there's some like scenes this is in the Fault in Our Stars Extended Edition, but there's a scene where, um, I almost said Triss because they're the same person, Hazel and Augustus are on the bed and they're putting, I think, the swing set on Craigslist. As you can see, I'm a Fault in Our Stars fan. And they, he goes, lowly, pedophilic swing set seeks the butts of children. And it worked! Like, the way it played off in the scene and just... Even a lot of lines in The Fault in Our Stars, which actually to me is very hilarious. John Green is like my favorite person and his humor is spot on. I just didn't think know how that would translate to film because some of it's like, I don't want to say dark humor, but he takes something that's like so bad and makes it like it's this good thing. So I wasn't sure how that was going to translate, and it actually worked really well. I don't think Paper Towns did as well as The Fault in Our Stars, but it was really, really good. Wow, I'm looking in the wrong pocket. Okay. Oh yeah, my, my case is Sherlock. Sorry I'm, like, gone with this. I John Green answered my question on the live show, and I just had, like, a fan attack. Vampire Academy, your newest obsession. I could say... The Royal Society, but I'm not going to. Right now, I'm reading Across the Universe. It's over there, so I'm not going to go get it. I, like, love the book. I haven't got the chance to sit down and read it because it's Thanksgiving and I've been on, like, break and stuff. So, it's I haven't got the chance to get into it the way I would like to. But I've really been craving dystopian and just kind of, like, that fantasy engraved in it. But there isn't that many that are good or I have that are not knockoffs or I have already read and this one is like really good. I'm having that classic thing though with the dual point of views where you're like but I like this one better and I don't care what's happening in this one. Bring me back. But I really enjoyed it. I actually at my school we were having our the day before Thanksgiving break we had a half day and everyone else was like playing and talking to each other and I'm like shh shh Erica and all you people. <laughs> Erica's on my channel so you know who she is. It's like I'm trying to read. I'm trying to. I need to find out what happens. People are dying. Well, let's just say people actually didn't die, but you need to read that book to find out. I was such a nerd and I felt so bad. And I was sick, so I'm having like this gross sweatshirt, sweatpants combo. So gross. 
Vampire Cat. Oh, I just read that. Rupert or Shabit, something you're a hipster fan for. Well, I was a hipster fan for Divergent. I was also kind of a hipster fan for Throne of Glass. Um, I started to read it, like, the month it came out, and then I kind of put it down because I thought it was going to be, like, this princessy story, and it wasn't. It was, like, assassins, and I was like, I'm not going to like a good amount of assassins. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Literally, I want to smack myself sometimes. And then I read it later, again. Um, what else was I... Oh, Shatter Me? Kind of. Because I remember I almost got to meet Tara, Tara Moffat because she came to my little Midwestern town. And then we didn't get to go. And then I got to go to that tour a year later and meet Kira Cass. And of course, she wasn't there. But then the next year they moved the tour and she, did, she came for Ignite Me. So yeah, those books are great. Um, I remember having the ugly cover of Shatter Me. I think I have that on the ebook form and I never got the real one. I just gave my best friend Asia a copy of that and she hasn't, she's not a reader. And she's graduating from high school so I'm like, Asia, read this now, you will love it. She's like really cool. She's like Emma Books. She's one of those cool people that's like all, I don't want to explain it. Like, I'm a nerd. I'm like... The person in the Doctor Who who has an inhaler and has like a scarf and glasses and braces, that's me. Who, okay, the selection. A book you like but is controversial. I could have chose a different book for this. The selection is kind of one that I like that's controversial. I mean, everyone hates America Singer. Um, I think Beautiful Creatures. I cannot get into the second book and I've heard so many people say that it's not good after that point. But I mean, it's such a good start to a series that I feel like it would still be good, but I just, I made it like 20 pages into the second book and I can't get past it. But Beautiful Creatures was amazing. Um, I don't think, I guess Divergent. There's books that I didn't like that a lot of people liked. Um, this is the, my bookshelf full of, oh I guess Gallagher Girls, that's like my, the book series that got me into reading. I read those like the years they came out. They're so tiny, but they're so amazing. And Alec Carter is so good. She's such a great author. I like if I ever get to meet any author, it'll be John Green or Alec Carter because those two are amazing. And my last question is, who do you tag? I am going to tag my friend Ariana at the Book Reader. I'm gonna tag Emma Books if she sees this. I'm, I hope she doesn't because that was really embarrassing and bad, and I kind of fangirled. Not as bad because I'm on camera. Um, La La Lauren 1001, Sarah Ella, A Basket Casey Reads. You guys are my friends and I always tag you. I love all of you guys. Michael Booklion, I like. Okay, this is. You know, this doesn't mean I really have a crush on you, but you know how you have like um, your booktube crush and your book book boyfriend? I feel like you or Bangity Bang would be my book boyfriend, but he already has a girlfriend. I mean, Jesse. Jesse's Jesse, but yeah, I would choose you, Michael, because you're amazing, so I would tag you, um, and anyone else who wants to do this tag, it's original, and I just wanted to give some honor to Emma Books, because she's not liked enough on this, on this YouTube realm, and she's kind of overlooked, and uh, when people talk about their favorites, and so on and so on, I really wanted to put this out there when she got 10,000 subscribers as a congrats, but it didn't happen, so I hope you guys all like this. I hope that you show it to her. I hope that you do it yourselves because that's really why I'm on booktube, to really get to know other people and hang out with them and have fun with them. I hope you have a great night and I will have another video soon. So bye!